This video is brought to you by G Fuel. Use promo code King to get 10% off your next order. Welcome everyone to another video. And in this video, we're going to be featuring some battles from KD for life. I'm not sure they mean Kraft Dinner for life or Kevin Durant for life or Kevin Durant. Insert Durant photo here uh, for life. Uh, and uh, they're going to bring a team in the open Great League uh, featuring Dragalji. Dragalji is not too common in open Great League. It's often used in like Remix and other restricted metas, but I'm curious on how it's going to perform um, in the open Great League. It does struggle, especially since they're running Outrage against like uh, Chiefus and Azumarill, which are the two most common picks. But it does, um, we're going to see how it's going to do. We're going to see uh, Dragalji versus Shiftry. This is kind of a weird match. Oh, they came into um, Drift Flame here. Interesting. Um, they do throw the Icy Wind, which they're going to proceed not to shield, even though it does quite a bit of damage. Going to go straight for... They They really have to switch, though. Their backline is very weak to uh, Shiftry, though, so I'm curious if they're... Um... I am... Honestly, slightly confused on the play here, because um, they really, they really, 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 really need this Dragalji, uh for uh, the shift tree. So uh, it does come back in. It is bullet seed though. Interesting. Gonna be able to throw this weather ball. They're one away from a leaf blade, and they're two, so they're at. Um, two more, then it'll be a double leaf blade. Okay, now they're, oh my gosh, now they're a lot of energy. Um, they're definitely going to have a foul play. Um, going to come to Dragology here. Going to have to shield this. I don't see another way. They might leaf blade bank bait here. That's okay. I don't think a leaf blade would KO, so they would have to foul play. Uh, let's see if they shield this. Okay, I, if this is Leap Blade, I don't think it will KO, but we'll not sure how much energy they have. Uh, okay, does not KO, and they come into Blim here. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how they're going to win this. Um, uh, farm down? You have to farm down. We have no choice here. Okay. Uh, can I throw one Vine Weapon and throw the move? I like this play because like, if they had a move, they would lose CMP anyway, so... Might as well get a move off. Oh, they come into... Okay. Um, this is interesting. Uh, who... Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Meganium went CMP, right? But they're going to exactly get to it. That one Vine Whip there was a masterful, masterful low-key play there that allowed them to, to get to the move before the, the Jealous in there. Uh, very well done. All right. We're going to see Dragalgy into a Bomb of Snow. Not uh, this whole team is very weak to Obama Snow, um, but the good thing is the back line is usually pretty strong here because typically it's like a Azumarill Sableye or Jellicent or something. Okay, you're just gonna have to double shield and farm it down, I think is the best play. Um, okay, and then should get one more Dragon Tail in. Uh, cause I think there are three did deny the powder snow. Oh, they let it go. Okay. Here comes Sableye. Gonna go straight for the outrage. Uh, maybe coming to, uh, oh, they no shield there. Okay. Very nice. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Zoomer on the back. So I kind of prefer the other switch, but this is fine too. It is a Zoomer roll. I guess they didn't want to take the gunk shot. And they figure they can live in outrage, uh, so it kind of makes sense. Plus, easier farm down against the. Uh, gonna throw this and um, in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, by the time all these vine whips happen, um, plus the water guns, the thunder thunder should be enough to KO. They play rough here, and uh, you just throw the thunder at them. There's no. Um, I don't, I don't really like the waiting here, but that's okay. Um, just got to make sure they throw in the middle of the bubble. They're going to throw in our play rough here, but this this is, uh, this is basically GG here. Two, three. They try to catch there. Very nice. 
and you're gonna throw the thunder and we're gonna say I actually don't know if this KOs Azumarill. Azumarill is very tanky. Uh, it does not KO Azumarill, and, uh, but able to farm it down afterwards. Very nicely done. I might put these videos out of order, but that's okay. Uh, oh, into Gengar. This is interesting here. Um, these fast moves are going to do a lot to Gengar, though. Um, looks like they start a little bit late there. Going to throw the Aqua Tail before they get to a Shadow Ball. Um, or some other move. Um, okay, uh, enough for the shadow ball. Uh, they're, they're, they're gonna shadow punch here. Not a big deal. This should be just another shadow punch and should be able to farm down. And uh, we're gonna see what's gonna come in the back. It's gonna be a Bastion on here. Honestly, I'd probably switch here because uh, both these Pokemon in the back are okay against, uh, uh, they come to Metacham. Okay. This is fine. This is totally fine. You just no shield, uh, no shield this, uh, cast form. Uh, should be able to live this move. Hopefully they're like psychic and ice punch. Yeah, they're psychic. Perfect. I was considering going for the thunder, uh, but wouldn't get there. I'm gonna settle on this. Okay, and then you just you just sack your algae here. Yeah, just gonna let this go. And this is looking pretty good right now. They do ice punch here. I think you have to take this ice punch though. Okay, okay. Or or they don't throw. They, they should win. No, no, they lose CMP. Yeah, they lose CMP. And gonna be able to easily EQ this Bastidon. And uh, shield this, though the flamethrower wouldn't KO, but um, that's on so tanky. I'm not 100% sure this EQ KOs, despite double super effective, despite the base 120 damage, it is enough to, to KO the Bastion. Okay, very nice. All right, Ferrothorn. So, this is a good matchup as long as they don't have. Flash cannon, right? Because you double resist power whip, double resist these bullet seats. Um, okay, probably this is almost certainly at most a mirror shot. They do power whip here. Okay, um, am I wrong that they're they double resist? Gonna go for the aqua tail here. Uh, I actually think I prefer straight outrage here, just because I don't feel like they're gonna shield, and outrage is quite a bit more energy efficient. Um, yeah, they they mirror shot this time makes sense. Oh, they, they did get the attack fall. Um, this Ferrothorn is very bad for the back line. They're gonna throw another Aqua Tail here, again, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, and I'm surprised they haven't thrown another mirror shot here. Okay. Um, I guess Dragaji wins CMP, so that makes sense. They mirror shot. Yeah, I think they would have been able to KO this Ferrothorn array if they went straight Outrage. They mirror shot again. It'll be, this will be a very difficult uh, bullet seed down for them. Okay. Um, they'll get one more Dragon Tail in, but it looks like they'll faint to the next bullet seed if they decide to shield, which they almost certainly will not. Um, okay, perfect. This is absolutely beautiful here. And uh, they're going to call it, they're going to say GG here. Here's what they had in the back. Uh, that they that they just gave up at that point in time. All right, we're gonna see drug algae into Alteria. Okay, interesting. Definitely have to stay. Uh, might try to Dragon Tail down if they can sneak a move in. They cannot. Uh, so they're they're gonna have to throw. Uh, if they snuck a move in, they could probably Dragon Tail down, but they're gonna have to throw the Aqua Tail here to assist. Uh, they'll definitely survive this, and then one more. One more. Oh man. Okay. It looks like it's gonna be two more dragon tails there. So I think this is the correct call. Really, just wants to get rid of this Alteria. They they end up taking it out. They come to Empoleon here. Honestly, uh, uh, both Castorm and uh, uh, Meganium are quite good here. Gonna go to Castorm. Not taking super effective damage, but they are. They also are. Um, resisting the waterfalls and but they're also resisting the water guns right so um 
Okay. They come to Toxic Crow here. This is actually okay. Gonna go straight for the EQ. No baiting here. I think this is the correct call, right? Because then you can water gun down this. Uh, but this is looking pretty good here. Um, I think you shield this, but this this won't KO. Oh, it does KO, okay. Um, I think you can water gun down though. So I think this is fine either way. This water gun pressure is a little bit too much for this Empoleon. Um, Empoleon, not the bulkiest Pokemon, so uh, very nicely done. I, I like the call that they made, throwing both Aqua Tails there. Um, realizing like one if one if one dragon tail KO there, then uh, it would have been it would have made sense to to go for it. But all right, we're gonna see Dragalge into okay, not a great lead here, but Meganium and uh, um, Castworm should be pretty all right here. Gonna be able to live this. And they go for a build up to double. Probably gonna try to CMB tie on the next one. So. Or, okay. Or, or gonna throw before him. I think they're like one away. Um, or this is, yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, both. I think they're trying to farm down. But should be able to live one more. Air. They actually double shield here. That's kind of crazy. They do have quite a bit of energy now. Uh, they have basically double sky attack here. Okay, they Brave Bird. And we're going to see... Uh, I don't know if a Meganium farm down makes sense here. Um, okay, I like this play. And then farm down. Any Q should be KO, KO this. Okay, I like the one... Uh, Though, though I think Meganium went CMP, but I guess they're keeping track of the counts. And uh, we're going to say <laughs> goodbye. Meganium so super strong when they lead. Um, like, uh, usually Swampert, Azumarill, or uh, uh, um, Swampert, Chiefus. Okay, this is a good lead. Very good lead. I'll have to be careful of the Earth Power. Okay, going to throw the Aqua Tail right away. They don't bother trying to catch. I think they started late, so I think they're at seven. So they're like one away. Yeah. Normally they would be two away, but because they started late, uh, they do go straight for the earth power there. Uh, this is actually looking pretty good here. And they come into Meganium into. Uh, gonna throw here. Yeah, I, I like this play. You let this. Okay, gonna shield this. This is interesting here. Um, the drill pack definitely would not KO there, but. Uh, maybe induce them to shield. Okay, gonna get the farm down. Yeah, they definitely would survive it, but maybe they really want. Yeah, that's sort of the. The thing is, like, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, but I didn't love that shield because I think they would have lived anyways. But they're gonna be able to output quite a bit of damage here. They actually throw here. They're. Uh, I guess they assume they're gonna switch out. Uh, okay. Um, Interesting that they're staying. I guess this is gonna chunk though, right? Uh, these frenzies are doing like 20% at a time and uh, slowly chipping away at this Mandibuzz. Three of them are putting like almost where you can, okay. Uh, okay, this is actually really good here. Even if they earth power can water gun down then weather ball the uh, Mandibuzz. The Mandibuzz probably does have a move, but uh, this is looking really good here. Uh, the Mandibuzz is quite low. So going to be able to easily water gun down before taking any damage here. They will make it to a move, but Weather Ball definitely will KO. Uh, they'll need like three foul plays here to KO. Yeah, Cast Worm has like some pretty decent bulk to it. Going to try to go for the Thunder, I suppose. Uh, uh, but even, even, even in this situation, well, actually, this is kind of dangerous here, but going to be able to reach the Thunder, take out the Mandibuzz. And uh, that's going to be a GG. All right. We're going to see Dragalge into Deoxys. I'm assuming they're going to Psycho Boost and go. Um, no, they're building up here. Okay, interesting. One Psycho Boost definitely will not KO. Okay. 
second one definitely will they come into umbreon very common uh back line sometimes it's like g fist in the back right so i think you're like okay gonna go uh okay um i don't like a, i don't know if i like this play here but um i would think i would prefer meganium but i guess this is uh yeah I think I just think Castor is more flexible, but I guess if they're predicting if they're grass the back, it's gonna be tr problematic, problematic anyways. But I don't know if Castor can actually win this matchup. It almost certainly does not look like it can without investing a shield. Even investing a shield, I don't think it can. I think you gotta let this go, and then you farm down. Okay, um, farm down with Dragalge. You just be a little bit worried that they have psychic, but this just look, look, looks like a foul play. Um, can you farm it down? Okay, you can. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's that's not good here. Throwing the outrage into a nine tails. Um, that is very problematic here. Good thing it's charm though. Okay, they do have some energy though. Mm, and one frenzy plan does not KO, uh, and this is uh, very very bad here. Uh, he had to. Okay, I, I like this idea though. I think they have a move, right? They, they'll definitely live this. They'll build the farm down. If they don't have a move on Nine Tails. Um, this is uh, this makes sense. Okay, did deny here and. Uh, um they should lose cmp so this makes okay gonna switch here okay they actually end up throwing here which actually is very fortunate because uh I, they were uh, almost certainly not at the move and they could have charmed down um this drug algae would have taken the aqua tail but definitely would live there so a little bit fortunate there um and it all worked out very nicely done Again, I put these battles in kind of random order, but okay. We're gonna see Dragalge into Trevenant. Okay, this is an okay matchup, right? These Dragon Tails do a lot of damage, but the Shadow Ball would almost one shot, uh, would probably almost KO here. I think they would just barely live. And they go do go for the Shadow Ball and they come into uh, Meganium. Did uh, farm up a little bit of energy here. Gonna let this go. Count to seven and then throw the uh, frenzy plant so basically double maybe just before yeah just before um and they're gonna throw um trevenant is uh very problematic for the back line though so the trevenant will definitely faint to a, a frenzy plant here so uh they kind of have to shield it's probably a okay gonna throw the aqua tail here i like this play um hopefully they threw and i'm gonna shield this they do shadow ball here they come to chiefess okay this is okay though right because the the trevenant is quite low and um uh i guess this chiefess can Try to rock slide and much shot down, but uh, I think they have to EQ here or they're gonna eat a second um, or third Aqua Tail. The rock slide wouldn't KO here. Okay, they EQ, yeah, makes sense. And then just gonna water gun down. They'll probably make it to a rock slide, they do not. And then this weather ball should be enough to take out the Trevenant. Trevenant is pretty classy, and um, a seed bomb wouldn't take out the cast form here anyway so very nice play yeah i, I think dragology is good don't get me wrong but it certainly has a number of weaknesses against like the top of the meta but it, it does a lot of work versus like everything else that supports it that supports the supports the meta so um Okay, usually, usually Skarmory in the back here. 
Skarmory Metacham is like not too uncommon though like that means they don't respect charm at all but um but certainly not inconceivable um so ideally you want to win the switch here um would cmp tie on this aqua tail and gonna have to shield this this aqua tail uh, probably wouldn't be enough to KO the sableye from here but one more dragon tail afterwards would be so i'm assuming they're gonna let this go oh they actually shield here oh they really want to switch here oh, okay that's bad honestly i think you uh sack you sack meganium here yeah you sack you don't you don't shield this you should expect a skarmory in the back or steel in the back and skarmory is a is a very good candidate here but let's see oh it's a bastion okay okay that's interesting chiefus or is this oh it's metacham okay okay Meta, metacham it makes sense oh it's like the it's like a, the mixed up order of the bastion uh, metacham line okay gonna throw the frenzy plan this should be enough to take out the metacham and just gonna commit to this eq and uh, then this they'll they'll live this and then should a weather ball should be enough to take it out or even these uh water guns here this is gonna be a gg i i still like the taking it then the energy on meganium it's like it was more likely to be less useful end up being really useful uh but it's also more it's uh more it's tangier than a cat swarm probably it's probably pretty close here so this is a good matchup because typically they don't carry eq okay uh they end up catching the move onto uh skarmory here but it's looking pretty good right now gonna let this go this whole team beats uh swampert right so if you really don't want like swampert then this is the team for you um the swamper can put in some work against this team too so ooh okay uh not great there oh they actually didn't throw okay build up to double uh weather ball i uh, did let a air slash super not big deal um Okay, uh, I'm assuming they're looking to mud shot down. Okay, and then come into Dragalgy here. Dragalgy is a good matchup, but it's also pretty low here. So gonna get this Aqua Tail off. Hopefully they don't shield this Aqua Tail. Really needs them not to shield this Aqua Tail. They end up shielding the Aqua Tail. Um, you gotta let this Crunch go. It won't KO. Uh, and then maybe, okay, gonna commit to the move here. I think you shield this, yeah. This makes sense here. This the, the Aqua Tail doesn't KO. Um, maybe they actually survive another Poison Sting and, okay, they're gonna, okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure I like uh, that play there, keep me alive. Because um, honestly, it makes the game a little bit more complicated here, but end up being fine but because i i they didn't need to throw a move with the swamper it's too low but maybe they thought they need to get to a frenzy uh so kind of a or maybe they thought it was gonna ko anyway so kind of a weird uh weird play there okay uh and then you definitely switch here right uh okay not gonna switch um kind of has like two pokemon that are actually okay against um especially since they don't have um uh, I guess they, you just let this go and you expect the Skarmory in the back. Yeah, I, I like this idea. Uh, usually Skarmory is paired with Cast Form. No, not Cast Form. With Stun, uh, the Unova Stunfist because the grass is his biggest weakness. Um, but let's see. They're try really trying to win Switch here. Okay, going to let it go. Yeah, can't touch Meganium, but I do expect it to have a hard Meganium answer. This is going to be a very hard Meganium answer, but he just puts... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. They discharge here. 
Yeah, Skarm in the back makes sense. Gonna throw the Frenzy plan, which I find is a little bit weird here. Um, and then gonna switch. They come to Sableye. Uh, not great. Uh, gonna shield this. I think, like, honestly, this uh, Bray Bird for sure would do more damage. So, uh, by I guess trying to keep it uh, healthy enough that they have to throw on um, this Weather Ball doesn't. This Foul Play definitely doesn't KO. Uh, I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to build up to double Weather Ball. Gonna throw both and then gonna try to make it to an EQ on this. Uh... Okay, no air slash through. Really, probably needs the EQ here. I, I don't see. The, even the EQ won't be enough. Definitely will not be enough. Need like an EQ and a frenzy plan. It says like absolutely nothing here. Yeah, and unfortunately, the this sh probably enough, or even if it's not enough. Um, would be able to air slash down an unfortunate uh, situation there probably probably had to try to win switch there i think was like the only way of doing it we got a random screenshot here but why not uh coming to bastion uh do expect it to be uh Medicham and um sable eye which i think they'll have a little bit hard time dealing with oh my gosh oh it's actually <laughs> it is a fellow meganium uh interesting here um uh yeah this is interesting um these friends of plants are gonna chunk here let let's go for sure okay gonna shield this um i'm not sure but this play here um okay gonna throw let's see what they want to do they do shield themselves. Okay, and there's no way you can shield. They, 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 this uh, won't KO, so it's interesting that they decide to throw on CMP. Um, maybe they're gonna let this go and let Bastion farm down. Uh, should be able to make it to a Frenzy though, if the Bastion doesn't wanna throw here. Okay, it doesn't wanna throw, but this is actually pretty good here. I think I prefer the damage. Then, uh, then Basson saving energy because the Basson hits hard because it has strong moves. But okay, I like this play. And you just uh, let this go. Interesting that they haven't thrown yet. Maybe they're going for the return. You just let this go. Um, you really don't need. It. I'm assuming they're returning here. Oh, they foul play here. Interesting. They're gonna have to foul play again. You just let this go. Uh, this should KO and gonna be able to water gun down. And uh, this is looking pretty good right now. Gonna, this is probably a CMP tie. I'm assuming the Bastion is throwing the Stone Edge right now. Yeah, just get an extra water gun through. It doesn't really matter here. They're gonna, they're probably gonna get to another one anyways, right? So, um, gonna be able to water gun down this Bastion and they're trying to smack on down. Uh, I would love them to throw the move right now and KO through the shield. KO through the shield. Oh, that would have been so nice there. That would have been so nice. And um, I don't know how many more battles we have, but I think this is the last one I'm going to show. Uh, we're going to have... Okay, so typically uh, they have... Okay, Skarmory is a very common pairing uh, with the uh, Umbreon. So I do think they should try to win Switch here. Uh, they went to five, uh, or I guess they went to, uh, they go to six, six through. Just get the outrage through. Grass, uh, honestly, this, this back line is pretty nightmares for, uh, the potential back line is pretty nightmares for, um, cause it could be like Venusaur. You definitely want to farm all the way down. Um, they should need four more, right? Four more. So should be able to farm down or get close. Oh my gosh, this is Umbreon. You gotta let this go. Um, we're gonna see what's gonna come in. Yeah, Skarmory is a very common 
pairing with Umbreon. Uh, maybe Defense Deoxys in the back. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually okay, too. Um, probably should have threw beforehand because uh, they might just like no shield here. Oh my gosh, this this uh, Needle Queen is a total nightmare. Um, yeah, they're going to no shield this. You have to shield this. Okay, this is not quite over yet. If they can make it to two weather balls here. Looks like they can. I don't know if that air slash went through though. Okay, did not. And I'm gonna be able to throw another one here. Then you switch and EQ. Oh, 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 okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh do this for the one damage. And then get you get one more uh you get one more Vine Whip in. You get two more Water Guns. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful play there. I have no idea why they did not shield the Weather Ball there. Uh, but that's going to be a GG. Uh, thank you very much for sending me this team. Super interesting team. I'm going to leave it there. If you'd like to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.